Well, efforts are underway to form a new government here in Germany. It's taken them a few weeks to agree on a draft document to start the talks, but now the negotiations to form a coalition government are officially underway. Previously, the Social Democrats, the Greens and the Liberals agreed on important cornerstones such as no tax increase and uh, increase in the minimum wage, but the three parties have yet to agree on some highly contentious points on climate for example, the Greens are set to win their case with a coal exit brought forward from 2038 to 2030, but with no clear roadmap as to how to achieve that goal. In terms of security, although the draft paper mentions a modernization from uh, the German army, the Social Democrats and the Greens haven't committed to fulfilling Germany's uh, goals within NATO of spending 2% of its budget on defense. Uh, last but not least, the Liberals and their leader, Christian Lindner, have already expressed a strong interest in getting the finance ministry. That's something that was not welcomed very much by the Greens or the SPD. Well, for more, we're joined now by Ricarda Long. She's a deputy chairwoman of the Greens and a member of the German parliament. Thanks for being with us. Ms. Long, a three-way coalition. Hi, thanks for the Yeah, uh, a three-way coalition. That's what you're looking at right now. That's going to demand compromises all around. Uh, what policy goals has your party already had to sacrifice going into these negotiations? And, and what are you not willing to give up going forward? Well, I think first of all, when we come together with three parties that are ideologically very separated and very far apart, I think what was really interesting in the last weeks was that we were able to get into a one direction to build a reform, like to formulate a basis for agreeing on the Paris Agreement for getting investments into future um, areas and also for getting children out of poverty. The, co the exploratory um, uh, paper we have here is something where you can see the decisions were made. Decisions being made is good for politics, but it also means that you have to give and you have to take. So we right. have great successes with the exploratory paper, for example, the coal exit. But what was rather hard for us was, for example, giving up the tempo limit on our um, on our streets. So you're talking about the speed limit that uh, you would like to see yes. introduced uh, in order to reduce CO2 emissions. Yeah, the other the other coalition partners didn't go along with that. What do you see as the biggest points of contention? moving forward in these negotiations? Well, for us as the Green Party, was always clear that every government we will enter into has to agree on the Paris, Paris Agreement and therefore on reducing CO2. And I think now this, we have um, built the ground for this, for example, with the coal exit, but now we have to get concrete on it when it comes to how we change agriculture, when it comes to how we change mobility. And I think these are going to be one of the big areas we are going to talk about within the coalition talks now. Now, you personally have put a lot of emphasis on social equality, on gender parity. Uh, do you think that your would-be coalition partners are willing to prioritize those goals? Well, what we agreed on in an exploratory paper is that we want a guaranteed child allowance to get children out of poverty. And this is a priority that we agreed on within the paper. And I think this is a big step for many, many families, for many single parents and for many children within this country. And this will be our priority within the coalition talks and also within the next four years, because I think in a rich country, no child should grow up in poverty. And we will also push forward for more social successes within the coalition talks now. But I think that especially when it comes to gender equality, we can agree on in the three parties, even though our instruments may differ, that the equality between all genders and between men and women is a question of freedom, is a question of self-determination, and there's no discrimination based on gender. And I think this is a good like starting point now to get into the instruments. Ms. Lang, thank you very much for talking with us. That was Ricarda Lang from Germany's Green Party. Thank you. Have a good day.